one of my majors in undergrad was psychology. Now in English, we say psychology, but in French, we say psychologie. Go wonder. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to Learn English with Jackie. Today we're going to talk about some English pronunciation and specifically we're going to talk about words that have a silent P in them. P. Okay? Uh, and before we get into that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, C'est Jackie, C-E-S-T. J-A-C-K-I-E for more English lessons, to like this video, to comment below any thoughts about this video or anything you would like to learn in particular, and to share this video with the world! Thanks. So, silent P words. Why? Why are there words with a P that is silent? right? The reason is because these words come from Greek, okay? And in Greek, we pronounce the T, the P, sorry, T, the P. But in English, in English, the P is silent. And they did this so that it could sound more familiar to people speaking English and easier to pronounce. So they made the P silent. So whenever you see a word that has a P that we don't say in English, it's generally because the root of that word is Greek. So what are some of those words? Let's get into some of them, shall we? Pneumonia. Repeat. Na mo Nia. And what is pneumonia? Pneumonia is an infection of the lung. It's a very serious sickness, or it can be. Next, mnemonic. Repeat. Na-ma-nic. And what does it mean? In the medical definition of mnemonic is relating or affecting the lungs, just like pneumonia. Next word, psalm. Repeat, psalm. What does it mean? A psalm is like a a religious or sacred song, la, 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 la. a song or a hymn. It's generally used in the Christian or Jewish uh, traditions, a psalm. Next word, pseudonym. Repeat, pseudonym. What does it mean? A pseudonym is like a fake name, okay? For example, some authors uh, write a book under a pseudonym, not their real name, another name. Excellent. Next, psychedelic. <laughs> Repeat, psycho. De lick. What does it mean? It means it's something related to drugs or that can um, create, produce hallucinations. 
Yeah, that's psychedelic. Next word. Psoriasis. Repeat. So raya sis and what is psoriasis psoriasis is a skin disease um, where generally you have red and itchy skin um, parts of skin excellent next word psyche Repeat, psyche. And what does it mean? Your psyche is like your spirit or your soul or your mind. That's the psyche. Next, psychic. Repeat, psychic. And what does psychic mean? Um, psychic means that you know something about people's mind, right? Um, like in X-Men, Jean, I believe, is psychic. She can read minds. Or psychic is also an adjective that has to do with the mind, that is related to the mind or the soul. Excellent. Next. Psycho. Repeat. Psycho. What does it mean? Generally speaking, we use psycho in English as crazy, lunatic. <laughs> so crazy, psycho. Next word, psychology. Repeat, psychology. What does it mean? Psychology is the study of the mind, okay, and of behavior. And it's also one of my majors in, in uh, undergrad. <laughs> Crazy. Next word, pterodactyl. Repeat, pterodactyl. What is a pterodactyl? A pterodactyl is a flying dinosaur. If you Google it, you'll see. It looks really cool. It has a long beak and big wings. It's a pterodactyl. It's not my favorite dinosaur, but is it yours? Next word, receipt. So the next two words are words that don't start with P that are silence, but that have P's somewhere in the middle of the word, but still those P's are silent. So repeat, receipt. What's a receipt? <laughs> A receipt is usually a piece of paper um, that shows that you've paid for something, right? Or that shows some sort of hmm, the fact that you received something. Receipt. And last but not least word, raspberry. Hmm. Repeat. Raspberry. What is a raspberry? A raspberry is a fruit that is kind of pinkish reddish. It's small, it's a little sour, not too sweet, and it's a fruit. Awesome job! Bravo! Let's go through that list one more time, one more time, uh, before we say goodbye. You ready? Let's go. Pneumonia. Mnemonic. Psalm. Pseudonym. 
or pseudonym, pseudonym, psychedelic, psoriasis, psyche, psychic, psycho, psychology, pterodactyl, receipt, and raspberry. Excellent. Thank you so much. So hopefully now you'll remember to not pronounce the P <laughs> with these words. There are a few other words as well that have P's that are silent. Uh, most of those words are medical words. So unless you're a doctor, nurse, work in the medical field, you're good, you're Gucci. Um, but if you are at all curious, there is a list on Google. And if you ask me, I can share that list with you uh, in the comments. I'm happy to. And if you want to learn any other thing in English, please let me know below. Um, we'll also be working on other words that have silent letters and other pronunciation things to help you with your English. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. C-E-S-T-J-A-C-K-I-E, Sest Jackie, for more English lessons. To so leave me a comment below, even just saying hi. <laughs> to like this video or dislike, whatever. <laughs> and to share this video with the world. Happy holiday, folks. Wishing you the best of times and lots of just rest and joy with your loved ones. Hope to see you at our next lesson. Bye. Bells on Bob Tail Ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey. Jingle all the way.